What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Chuck here, back with another video. I'm Chuck Gaming from We Game here. At the end of the road with these E3 previews, and I got Sony here. And Sony, you know, Sony. Sony! You know, the king of gaming right now. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> They're gonna think I'm a fanboy. No, but they are the leading console right now in, in the gaming community. Um, and, you know, they've been doing a lot of good a lot of good and I, I just I'm gonna talk about pretty much what I've been doing already you know just talking about what's pretty much gonna be there and then what I hope for you know in the end so let's get to these games man um oh first off I want to say big ups to them for not talking about Neo I don't think it was the right place or time for that I don't think people really care uh I think they care but I don't think you know it should be talked about in this form you know maybe they could because they don't need to they're leading in sales and in the, in, in the console is this is no need to even talk about that right now give that its own date you know probably at gamescom or something and just do that e3 just show us the games and the first game i want to talk about was uh horizon yes it's not it's probably going to be there they're probably going to show another demo but it was delayed until 2017 i believe february you know, um, I was really excited for this game. Uh, I really wanted to play that this year, but when you kind of look at it, it was actually kind of beefy this year, <laughs> and, and they didn't want you really want to risk it. You know, I mean, because September on is just it's just murder's row, and I don't think it would've been good for them to um, to put that out at the moment. Now, February is not that bad. You know, I, I still do believe that it it could have came out this year. Maybe maybe they could have gotten out like probably like in early September before Final Fantasy came out. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, but they will show another demo of it. I'm intrigued to see what else the game has to offer than find a big old uh, dinosaur, you know, in the forest. Graphically, it looks amazing. I'm pretty sure it's going to keep that trend going uh, going forward. So we'll have to just wait and see um, how that plays out. Now the next game I want to talk about was um, No Man's Sky because I'm 100% sure they're going to show this game again. And No Man's Sky is just one of those games where it's like it has so much potential and I don't think the devs really banked on it. You know, they wanted to make it pretty much like a single player experience and I don't think that's... I don't think that was the right move, in my opinion. I feel like they should have, you know, at least had added some type of co-op aspect to this game. Because I want you guys to think about something. If I could just get in the ship, well, like, two, just two of my friends. So it could be like a three-man, you know, crew, you know. And you guys can go explore the galaxy, you know, hit up different planets. Everybody could resource on the planet. Everybody could fight all the wildlife on the planet. You know, maybe you guys are underpowered and you guys are uh, getting chased by, like, different creatures, you know, that you can't really fight. So everybody's, like, racing, trying to get back to the spaceship. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it could be it could be so much fun doing stuff like that. Because what I've seen with No Man's Sky is pretty much, you go to this planet, look for resources, you know, you shoot occasionally. Every planet won't even have anything. And, um... Yeah, it's, I, I, I don't know, man. I, it just looks pretty boring to me. I, that's just my personal opinion. I mean, I'm not going to knock people who's excited for the game, but to me, it just doesn't give me that, man, I need this game. Like I, when I first seen it, you know, because like the more you see of the game, it's pretty much, man, it looks like a, a bore fest. <laughs> I'm just saying, because I really feel like they missed out on that, um, on that, uh, on that co-op aspect of the game because if they had that bro i'm telling you this would be probably the most i want to say the most anticipated game this year because you got pretty much a lot of heavy hitters coming this year but it would definitely be up there you know because i think more people get excited about it than you know just the people who like exploration games you know what i'm saying because everybody's not really about that life you know <laughs> just being honest but let's move on man um Another game I do want to see, uh, well, they kind of like ruined it, but so Crash, 
was rumored to come back a couple, I want to say like last week or so, and everybody thought Crash, but it, it's kind of getting like the um, the Conquer Project Spark deal, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, where, you know, you could play him inside of another game, but it's not really a standalone game, so it kind of like, that kind of blows a little bit. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so I, I don't know about that one, but hey, it is what it is. Now Sony does have a lot of third marketing, uh, a lot of third uh, third party marketing this year. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have. It looks like they already got Titanfall. Um, it looks like they have. Um, look, pretty much they're gonna have Final Fantasy. They're gonna have COD. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, oh yeah, I said Final Fantasy already, huh? COD, Final Fantasy, Titanfall, and, I mean, they'll probably, and Destiny, there we go, for the new expansion. So, yeah, I have that going for them at the same time, so that's kind of cool. I also want to see Detroit. I think they showed that last year, and I think it was just a CG trailer, though, and I really want to uh, get more info on that game because that, that looks like that's going to be crazy, man, and graphically. Well, it was a trailer, but, you know. Hopefully the game can look somewhat like that, man. But it's a very interesting concept, and um, I do want to see where they go forward with that. Now, from a third-party pers- uh, perspective, I know they always tend to show uh, Nether Realm games. I know that they did it with MKX, and I'm pretty sure they're going to have a live demo of uh, what's the name of Injustice 2 that just got revealed. Uh, not reveal, but gameplay reveal yesterday. So I do want to see that game play out, man. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna have that on the stage. And um, so we we'll, we'll just have to wait and see on that one, man. But it, it should be. I, I wasn't really impressed with what I, what I seen yesterday. So I, I kind of want to see where they uh, how the game how the high match goes while it's going live. You know, I don't want to see just clips. I don't want to see a full match. You know, but. Um, Let's get on this VR tip, man. VR, uh, some I'm not really into. Um, I know it's supposed to release this year, I think October or whatever, man. So that's actually gonna be kind of cool uh, for the people who's into it, man. I'm not gonna sit here and knock it, you know. But they do have some uh, uh, until dawn. I think it has like an expansion pack, not an expansion, but like a game exclusive to the uh, VR. They also have a Star Wars game uh, coming. You know, and some other stuff coming for them. So, it, it will have games at launch, um, which is cool. You know, I think they do have some potential there. You know, I'll see where it goes from there. Maybe I'll check it out a little bit down the line. But I'm not really too excited for the whole VR thing at the moment. You know, so. But it's looking for that, man. I'm pretty sure they're going to they're gonna have, like, a whole little segment just on the VR tip, you know. And it is what it is, but... Uh, one thing I do want is for them just to make a better controller. Um, I've complained about sc- this controller <laughs> many a times, <laughs> maybe too much, you know what I'm saying? But I have complained about it a lot, and I just feel like it's just a terrible controller. <laughs> I really hate this controller, man. Like I don't know why I hate this controller, but I just want them to make like, uh, if not an elite controller, just something to like fix the triggers uh in the in the face buttons not the face button but the um r1 l1 just give me a controller where i can just actually use this thing man because I, I really don't like it. it feels cheap it feels light you know and i just don't i don't i don't like it <laughs> pretty much that's pretty much what it is man but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below man do you agree with my comments man you, what do you want to see from sony uh are you expecting anything big uh, hitting? Uh, we may see God of War 3. We may see Last of Us 2 also. So look out for that. But anyway, this is your boy Upchuck Gaming. Uh, appreciate all the support I've been getting on these videos, man. It's greatly appreciated. And I'll get it to you guys next time, man. E3 Eve is here. Let's have some fun. And uh, I'm out.